all right what's up y'all man in today's video as you can see by the title and by the thumbnail i'm gonna be giving y'all five tips on some things i wish i knew when i first started lifting that basically i'm using now to help my physique go from this to that and if i would have started this earlier my physique would look crazier than what it does now so uh yeah hopefully this video helps out before we get into it make sure to leave a like subscribe and uh ring the notification bell so y'all don't miss none of that and follow me on my social medias which will be in my link tree in the description as usual but let's get into it so the first thing I wish I knew when I first started lifting was to go in the gym with a split, man. Don't just go into the gym and hit arms and chest all the time, you know, and skip legs. Like, don't do that. You know, I'm telling you, when I first started lifting, I started based off of just playing football. I didn't really bodybuild style lifting. You know, I didn't do any of that types of stuff. So I just came in, you know, doing explosive movements for legs, which was like box jumps and stuff. And then other than that, I never hit legs. I was hitting chest three times a week. I was doing bicep curls and tricep pushdowns every day and i wasn't really making that much progress like i was getting stronger but that's really it because i didn't have a split going into the gym with a split i'm telling you is a big thing if you go in with a split you just give it gives your body time to rest it gives your body two to three days in between each body part to fully recover fully rest and you know you're just building an overall symmetrical physique to where in a few years when you're done you know when you're getting to your peak performance and peak physique you know what i'm saying you can have a good symmetrical physique compared to the people that don't go in there with a split and they come out with no legs all chest you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much it with the first thing it's not too much to explain you know you just want to have a split because you want to be symmetrical you don't want to have imbalances in your body because of you skipping a body part so go in there with a split the second thing i wish i would have known when I first started lifting is take care of your diet, man. That's something that I really wish I knew. And when I, the reason I say that is because, you know, when I first started lifting, I was in high school and it was, like I said, more for football. It wasn't bodybuilding style lifting. But even once I learned about bodybuilding style lifting, that was my freshman year of college and I still had a terrible diet and I wasn't seeing any progress. You know, I felt like trash in the gym. And then when I got to my diet, you know, I did the diet wrong. I did the cleanest diet of all time for like, for like a month and it did not last because i couldn't sustain it i wasn't used to doing that so you want to make a really good split and i would say for beginners i would say you do like a 70 30 split 70 percent clean 30 percent dirty especially like i said if you're in your teen years and you're still going through puberty you're going to get them newbie gains so that like little 30 percent of eating unclean i mean it's going to give you the weight on the body you need and then that 70 percent clean is going to give you that good nutrition to replenish your muscles so um you don't want to make it too hard on yourself especially if you're just getting into the gym you don't want to be in there doing 90 10 like diet where 90% clean, 10% bad, like you're not going to be able to sustain that. So uh, give yourself some leeway, but going in there with a good diet when you first start off lifting with a mixture of like a lot of teens, this is mainly for teens because most guys, at least guys start lifting when they're teens and, and girls as well. You know, y'all are going through puberty. So with a mixture of puberty and eating good, bro, your physique is going to look crazy by the time, like I'm 23, by the time you get to my age, you know, if you start at 16, 17, bro, you gonna have five, six years of lifting, bro, your physique will be insane. The, the better you eat, you know, the more protein you're getting in. That's what your muscles need to recover. The the less amount the less amount of fat you're eating, you know, you're not putting a lot of fat on your body. Eating a good amount of carbs, you're going to have energy throughout the day. And it's just overall a really good thing. So you definitely want to start off with a diet when you first start lifting. The third thing I wish I knew when I started lifting was you need sleep. Sleep is like very important. And I didn't know how much, how like important sleep was. In high school, I slept terrible. Like I played football. I didn't get home from practice from until like 8.30. Then, you know, I had to shower, eat, all that type of stuff, do homework, go to sleep by like 12 every night because I would be up just on my phone or playing the Xbox or whatever. And then I would have to get up at like 5.30 in the morning every day to catch the bus at 6.30. So, you know, I was getting maybe, maybe five hours of sleep every day doing all of this. And then when the school year ended, I had a little bit more leeway because then I had practice and I would still sleep terribly you know what i'm saying i would still go to sleep even later because now i didn't have practice so i was doing other activities that i could do outside with my friends and all this rather than you know grinding eating good and getting some good quality sleep in and basically it's not too much to say about sleeping sleeping is when your muscles are recovering the most that's when your body is burning i guess the least amount of calories you still burn calories when you sleep but you're obviously burning way less calories sleeping than going to a job or going to school and you're walking through the halls all sleep, all day you know, ten thousand steps a day not even purposely so this is like the best time to recover you want to go to sleep sleep between seven and nine hours and have your muscles recover to the fullest so just having a good sleep schedule is like 
it's, it's a hard thing to do because, you know, especially as teens, especially as beginning lifters, I keep saying beginning lifters because most people that begin lifting, especially nowadays, are younger. And um, I know y'all want to go out with your friends. I know y'all want to do stuff. But if y'all want your physique to look like y'all peak physique by the time y'all get to like y'all, y'all prime age, like 21, 22, 23, all that, you know, you're going to have to miss out on some of these events every once in a while and get a good sleep in. So uh, focus on your sleep. That's really important. The fourth thing I wish I knew when I first hit the gym was the intensity and the duration of your workout matters a lot. People think you need to go to the gym for two or in three hours, and that's not the case. You only need a good, I would say, realistically for me, you need a good, a total of an hour and 30 minutes of a good workout. And really, them 30 minutes at the end, 10 minutes in the beginning should be like, lift uh stretching dynamic stretching warming up by walking on the treadmill and then the last 20 minutes should be like either more dynamic stretching or accessory work like abs or if you want to lose some body fat and you're already a little bigger and you're working out you want to do cardio so really you have an hour of super hard super like really intense training and that goes on with the uh I said the t I think I said the intensity and the duration in the beginning yeah the intensity part people think you also need to do you need to do six chest workouts, three shoulder workouts, two tricep workouts on a push day. And that's not the case, bro. What I do personally, I do three chest movements. You know, you gotta, you have to do a fly, an incline, and a regular flat. That's all I do. Every once in a while, I might throw in a burn, like a burnout set at the end of like cable flies to end off the chest day. So four workouts. But really, you need three really intense workouts. You know, do two to three sets to failure. You know what I'm saying? With a decent weight, not ego lifting. Failing between eight and 12, bro. For like a push day and then do like one or two shoulder movements one tricep movement a total of five or six exercises in the, in the entire like workout and bro you'll be good to go people go in there and go in there for two three hours hitting legs i'm talking about leg extension leg press squat leg curls rdls calves hip abductors abduction lunges like they're doing all this stuff and then wonder why you can't recover like we're not you know most of us are natural or most of y'all probably watching this video are natural i am natural like I don't take anything to recover faster so it's like you doing this to your body isn't bettering it you're actually worsening it because you keep breaking down your muscle fibers and you're not letting them recover fast enough so uh you just want to make sure you're in it for a solid amount of time and work with intensity people don't realize bro i can like if there was some way to use like a chart or like a heart rate monitor or something to see how hard i'm working compared to like a beginner lifter and the beginner lifter can be in there for two and a half hours and i can go in there for 45 minutes and i guarantee you my workout will be way more intense and way be more beneficial because i know what i'm doing so that's why i'm trying to give you all these tips right here go to the gym and i'm telling you make a plan go in there no more than an hour 30 minutes work out very intensely bro and then get out of there you don't need to be in there super long Back then, I was definitely in the gym, like hitting chest for like no joke from one something. And I'll get out the gym at like 430 because I was just doing a bunch of BS. Like it's not needed. You know, make sure you're in there for a good amount of time. and just push hard. So that's something I really, really wish I knew. And the fifth and final thing is, man, progress isn't linear. And what that means is progress isn't going to go up in a in a straight line there's going to be weeks where you come like especially in the beginning there's going to be like the first month when you're going in there and i'm talking about you hitting prs after prs and like i said when i mean prs i'm not saying go for one rep maxes that is you do not need to do that to build a physique if you're doing that that's kind of dumb you're setting yourself up for injuries but what i mean by prs is you're going to go in there and hit a 25 pound plate on both sides on bench for 10 next week you're hitting a 35 pound plate for eight and then the next week after that you hit you're hitting 135 for eight and you're like bro how am i going up in strength and it's because you know you're new to the gym but then there's going to be times where you hit a plateau and you're wondering why you're getting you think you're getting weaker you're looking at the scale and the scale dropped five pounds you know your body doesn't look as good as it did when it was pumped the other day like all these factors come when you lift weights and people don't realize that especially beginners they think you're supposed to consistently see progress if you're consistently working hard but the body reacts different to different things and people don't realize that you know, if you lose five pounds that week, you might thought you lost five pounds of muscle. That's not the case. You might have lost five pounds of water weight. You don't know. You could have just been, you got to put things together because like people will go on vacation and come back and wonder why they're lighter or wonder why they're heavier. And they don't put into consideration that they were out eating good food every day. Or if they went to the beach, they were out on the beach in the sun, walking around, burning calories all day. And they think, you know, that they're, they're losing progress. And really, it's just, it's just like a, 
a minor setback or just a minor thing that comes with fitness, you know. So it's like progress isn't linear. You're not going to always make progress every single day, no matter how hard you work. Because there's days where I go to the gym so hard, bro, and I feel like I did the greatest workout ever. And I look at myself in the mirror and the pump looks terrible, bro. I look so flat. I look like I'm 140 pounds. Like, And then there's days where I wake up in the morning. I eat a huge breakfast, brush my teeth. I look in the mirror. It looks like I'm the rock. And I'm like, bro, I haven't even lifted yet. And it's just that's how it is. You know, there's like that's the same thing with strength, the same way your physique looks, the same way the scale looks. It's not always going to be up. It's going to sometimes you're going to lose weight. Sometimes you're going to lose strength that week. Then the next week you're going to come back. Maybe you just need a better recover recovery. Next week you're going to come back and be super strong. Like, yeah, I just need to know that and not get discouraged. That's a really big thing because a lot of people get discouraged and they quit. Don't quit and just keep pushing. But yeah, I just got to remember progress is not linear. So just remember that. And yeah, guys, those are five things that I wish I knew when I started lifting, man. I really appreciate y'all if y'all stayed and watched to the end. Hope I wasn't yapping too much, but I really had to break this down for y'all. I really had to explain to y'all why these things are important. And if I knew these in the beginning, bro, I would look even better than what I do now. Not trying to toot my own horn, but yeah, I definitely would look better than I do, I, than I do now. But hopefully y'all take this, um, these tips and run with them. You know what I'm saying? Because I want y'all to get the best physique y'all possibly can get. And if y'all enjoyed the video, man, make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell so you don't miss when i post and yeah i will catch y'all in the next video i'm gone